Welcome back to another video. I'm Ludwig Niederbach. Lately I feel like the photos I've been taking hasn't ended up the way I want to and the editing hasn't really been there for me. It doesn't feel like nothing's good enough. But at the same time I really want to shoot more than I do right now. So it's been a little bit of a problem for me there uh, to balance that. Like I want to shoot more but the pictures I take doesn't end up the way I want. It doesn't feel the way I want. I really like product photography. I really like taking pictures of stuff that I can be creative. Same way with portraits, I can do, do something to be creative. Not just, for me, landscape is nice. It's fun taking landscape photos, but at the same time, like you can't really change that much, except if you put it in Photoshop and add a dragon or something. But other than that, you can't really do that much. But with product and portrait, you can you can do so much. You can be so creative. That's my opinion. I know some people may not agree to, with that, but there's so much you can do. There's, you can make someone dress up. You can add something to the scene to make it look better. So I really want to shoot more just because to get out something, when you feel low and you feel like your self-esteem is really low, the best way to get out of it is to keep moving forward and keep doing what you do. As long as you love it or are passionate about it, just keep moving. And sooner or later, you will get out of that low. So I just really want to shoot more photos. That's the whole thing with this video. I'm actually going to do some product photography. So what I'm gonna shoot today is this ring right here. For this shoot, um, because it's such a small ring, uh, I'm gonna use my 24 to 70 Canon macro lens. It's not my favorite lens, but it's a very good macro lens. I'm gonna use this Loom Cube together, maybe, I don't know. We'll see if I use it. But I'm gonna use uh, one of my LED lights, uh, one sense right there behind me. I'm gonna use that one. To photograph with, I always use my G9. It's I like the camera and I have a battery grip on it. Makes it a little bit bigger for my hands. I get quite big hands, so and because I, the ring is is kind of it's quite classy, so I want to keep the scene like in a classy mood. As you can see, like it's white everywhere. Like the walls everywhere is white. Oh. And this is also white, I know. But I'm gonna add to it that way. Put it away. Uh, this thing here. That's on this side, it's dark, black. So I'm gonna use that one to make the back, background darker. Because I, I want everything to be focused on the ring. That's it. So uh, I think there's nothing more to do than just get straight into it and snap the photos. Let's go. Hey, I'm just gonna move up free. Roll you. That was actually so much fun. So the story behind this ring is actually, uh, I got it from my grandpa and it's been through generations. This ring means a lot to me. So let's just uh, go straight into showing the pictures that was taken during this shoot. Actually quite some nice picture that when I do shoots like this, when I photograph products or something like this, uh, I always start off with a clean picture, just the picture of whatever I'm gonna photograph. And then I add things into it later on and just keep building on um, what's in the frame. So as you can see, it's pretty much an empty, it's a cutting board. 
of wooden. I used a black table underneath and the back, black backdrop. And then I just added more stuff to it. So I just started adding uh, a whiskey glass to the picture and also a book that I felt like this. It's kind of classy, is it? It is. We go, we go with that, it's classy. And because I the felt like it was so empty on the cutting board, I actually used a pen and just sharpened it a little bit, emptied it out on the board, left the ring there. I actually added something, some texture to the picture, like it. And I put uh, a candle in the background. For some reason, I felt like it was gonna be there. And I also used the loom cube to light up the background. I don't know if it actually did something good to it, but it added something. I don't know if I can tell if it's good or bad. But I like these pictures. It's so I and I also took a picture with the ring on my finger, whiskey glass, and a whiskey bottle. I used a little of a lifestyle photo. Uh, I'm not an alcoholic, I don't need help. Uh, I just like whiskey. Yeah, those pictures were actually I'm quite happy with them uh, and also uh, when I added all of this, uh, I put a radiator filter on the ring and light it up just a little bit to make it pop out of the picture. I almost hit, I almost pushed the camera down. But yeah, I added a, a radiated filter on the ring, light it up just a little bit, tweak the colors a little bit, and the, the cutting bowl board was look the cutting board was looking kind of red so I pulled the reds out and orange out of the pictures a little bit and they ended up really nice in my opinion don't judge me yeah thanks so much for watching and uh, go check out my other videos uh, leave a like subscribe and hope you have a beautiful day follow me on Instagram where I upload pretty much all my pictures Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Peace out. I don't really cover the, the lens that much, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace out. It's dark, right? <laughs>